What's up guys? My name is Javier and welcome back to another episode of Tool Craze. I do want to apologize in advance for the audio issue. And if you guys can hear that in the background, that's rain because it's pouring outside like crazy. So anyways, going back to this video, in today's episode we're going to take a look at one of the latest LED lights from Milwaukee. The M18 Rocket LED Light with Charger. Now, this Rocket model is actually the second model with the Rocket name. I never got to test out the first Rocket model and frankly I didn't even know about it until I received this model. They're both very similar lights, as they're both stand lights, so this means that they both have a stand built in. And what's neat about the built-in stand is that you can fold it down so the whole thing is very compact, it only takes a few seconds to fold together, and it only takes a few seconds to set it up. I think it's a great design the way it works, and I like that the stand's built in, meaning you don't have to worry about where to place the light, whether it's on the floor, or on a countertop, or whatever. Or, you don't have to worry about having to bring your own stand. Then once it's set up on the ground with its tripod legs, you can extend the light all the way up to 7 feet. So not only is it a great design, it's also practical. And once the light is extended, you can then tilt the head forward, down, and to the sides that fit your needs. So it's basically the same overall design as the original model, except for a couple of things. The first thing is the newly designed head. On the older model, the light head was one big light. And on this new model, it's composed of three smaller lights that can be moved independently from each other. You can move one up or down, and the others to the sides. So this gives you even greater flexibility for light coverage. Or you can angle them all in the same direction for the greatest amount of light, but in one direction only. And even if you angle them all in one direction, the light coverage is pretty wide so it covers a big area. And besides the lights being divided up into three, the new model is also rated for more lumens. I believe the older model maxed out at a bright 2000 lumens, and this new model takes it up a notch at 3000 lumens so it's even brighter. But just like the original model, it also has three brightness settings, high, medium, and low. So let's go ahead and check out its lighting performance here in my garage with all the lights out at nighttime. Okay, so starting it off in the highest setting, here we have the full 3000 lumens of brightness so you can check it out. And as you can see, it gets very bright. Another thing we can see here is the use of Milwaukee's light technology where they give you a nice neutral white balance. It's not that plain white or even bluish white light you see with some of the other LED lights out there. Here in my garage, since the light is so close to the walls, it comes out more white than anything, but it does have a bit of yellow in there to make the light a little bit more natural. Okay, so that was the highest setting. Now let's take a look at the medium brightness setting, which tops out at 1,700 lumens. And as you can see, it's still nice and bright here in the garage. I do want to mention that the flickering you see here isn't visible in person. Now, the reason we see flickering in the video is because of the difference in the refresh rate in the LED light with the camera frame rate but just keep in mind that it's not visible in person. And lastly, here's the lowest light setting which puts out 900 lumens. And what I like about this setting is that you're gonna get the most runtime out of whatever battery you use. And as you can see, it still puts out a fair amount of light. I thought it was perfectly usable here in the garage and I like that it doesn't blind me like it does on the highest brightness setting. Okay, so that was in my garage where all the walls are nearby, so I took it out to my backyard to see how it does in a wide open space. So here it is in the highest setting of 3000 lumens. This is a good test to see its light output, especially if you take it outside. And I know you guys were able to see how wide the light beam was in the garage, but here in my backyard, you can see just how wide the light path is, and it's pretty wide. And this is with all the lights pointing in the same direction. So just imagine how much wider the light path would get if you spread the lights out a bit. And next, let's take a look at its medium setting, and now its lowest setting. I'd say that for an outside setting, I'd stick to using either the highest or the medium settings, as the lowest setting wasn't that good for outside use if you want to cover a large wide area, but it'll do okay for covering a small area as a spotlight. And as far as runtime goes, you can expect up to 17 hours of runtime with the M18 9.0 battery. Of course, 17 hours is on the lowest setting. You can expect up to 8.5 hours on the medium setting, which is a full workday. And you can expect up to 4 hours on the brightest setting. I tested the runtime on high and I got pretty close to the rated 4 hours of runtime as I got 3 hours and 38 minutes. And that test was non-stop. Maybe if you get the battery a few breaks in between uses it might get the full 4 hours of runtime. Now let's take a close look at the physical features of the light itself. It has a neat little panel near the light where you can turn the unit on or off here with the center power button. And using the buttons to the side you can adjust the brightness between the three settings. And what's neat is that it shows you what brightness setting it's on. Another neat feature is that the light can be powered by any of Milwaukee's ME Team batteries or you can plug it into the grid using an extension cord to have a limited runtime. And I like that it has two icons at the top of the panel 
that light up to show you if you're running on battery power or an extension cord. Pretty neat. One thing that I didn't like that it's missing is a fuel gauge right here on the control panel. Now, I know that all the M18 batteries have fuel gauges built in, but once this unit's set up, you have to bend down and press the fuel gauge on the battery. But that's too much work and I'd rather see an additional fuel gauge right here on the display panel for quick and easy access. But even though they don't give us a fuel gauge on the tool itself, Milwaukee does give us a low battery indicator function built into the unit. Now, there's no icon that lights up on the display, but the unit itself will start to flash a few times here and there when the batteries are low, which lets you know it's time to swap out batteries. And the next and probably most important feature with this rocket model over the original model is that this new model has a built-in charger. I mean, if you can plug in an extension cord, you might as well give it the ability to charge batteries that are plugged in. And that's exactly what Milwaukee did with this light. So the built-in charger is a standard charger. And of course, there's good news and there's bad news to go along with that. So starting off with the good news is that it's basically the same charging speed as a stock M18 charger. And the positive here is that, unlike some of the other brands' built-in chargers like the DeWalt and their 20-volt radio, that gets a slow charger. So it's nice to see that Milwaukee didn't skimp out on charging speed with their built-in charger. And as far as the negatives goes with this built-in charger, and pretty much the same thing goes with any stock M18 charger, is that it takes too stinking long to charge the larger batteries. If you have one of the older 1.5 and the 3.0 amp hour batteries and you charge them with this charger, you can expect around a half hour to an hour charging speed, which is actually pretty good charge times. But put anything larger than the 3.0 amp hour battery and it's gonna take at least one and a half hours of charge or longer and it only gets worse with the larger the battery capacity is. For example, this huge 9.0 amp hour battery is gonna take a whopping three hours of charge that's a long time to wait around sitting for the batteries to charge. It's not that big of a deal if you have multiple batteries as you can swap out a good one as the other battery charges. But if you only have one 9.0 amp hour battery, forget about it. But as I was saying before, this built-in charger is just as fast and just as slow as a stock M18 chargers. And as far as pricing goes, the original Rocket Light was priced at $200. And if you guys think that's pricey, you should check out the price on this model. This is priced at $399, and that's only as a bare tool. Yikes! And if you wanted a kit with a 9.0 amp hour battery, that'll run you guys $549. But just to put this into perspective, this 9.0 amp hour battery by itself will run you $200. So you're pretty much saving $50 if you buy it as a kit. And as always, I left you guys links down in the description below if you guys are interested in purchasing one of these bad boys. So that's pretty much it for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up by liking this video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already and follow me on social media over at Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And also on the Tool Craze website, that's www.toolcraze.net and you're missing out on a lot of content if you're not already a regular visitor. I have daily content on there such as Tool News where you're going to hear about the latest tools that are coming out there's also tool deals and also tool reviews you won't see here on this YouTube channel. And there's daily content on there every weekday. So make sure to check out the website often. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time.